This video is part of a multi-part series and I recommend that you watch the previous editions which will be linked in the description below before you watch this edition. Princess Leia has finally finished her Jedi training and has made her way back to the Rebellion. Now, as what remains of the Reliance prepares for one daring attack on the Death Star 2, Leia prepares to inform her fellow allies of the year that she has had. She stood aboard the Home 1, Admiral Akbar's command ship, and prepared a transmission that the entire Rebellion would hear. Leia took a deep breath and spoke. The fight against the Empire has not been an easy one. Ever since the destruction of Yavin 4, we have fought to keep our rebellion alive and restore the Republic to its former glory. We have turned to numerous means of assistance, for me in particular, Jedi, or at least what remained of them. Through my search, I was led down a path to not one but two amazing Jedi Masters who weren't able to fight themselves, but prepared me. Through them I learned of my true lineage, that in fact Bail Organa was not my father, but the Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker, one of the many Jedi that were slain by Darth Vader during the attack on the Jedi Temple. Now I've taken upon myself to continue the path started by my father, the path that ensures the rebirth of the Republic we all once knew, and the freedom that its citizens once experienced. I now am a Jedi. Now we prepare for the greatest fight in the history of our galaxy. We find ourselves facing a Death Star far more dangerous than the first, but we are far more ready than we were two years ago. This time we will win, and we will destroy the Empire. Rebel soldiers and leaders across the fleet applauded Leia and all rallied behind her words. Those who were nervous were giving a jolt of energy and prepared to hear what the attack plan was from Admiral Akbar. Akbar informed them of how the Death Star was not yet operational and that a strike team was to be led down to the surface to deactivate a shield generator that protected the station. He would introduce Lando Calrissian to the Rebellion, who joined not long after the death of Han Solo at Bespin a year ago. Calrissian would lead the fighters in the space assault, while Chewbacca and Leia would lead the strike team on the ground. Alma Akbar reminded all the troops that this was the final assault. Many would not survive, but this was the only route they had. Meanwhile, Luke Skywalker made his way to Endor. He sat in the shuttle thinking about the years that have went by, the amount of time that he served the Empire as a stormtrooper, and then thought about his time under his father, Darth Vader. He had thoughts about when he slain his once good friend Obi-Wan Kenobi. Deep down, Luke regretted this, but knew it was necessary. As he sat in silence, the communicator aboard the shuttle began to activate. Vader then contacted Luke aboard the shuttle. Our time is rapidly approaching, my son. I'm on my way to the Death Star now, and the Emperor will be here as well, along with what is left of the Rebellion. The rebels must be stopped before they can destroy the shield generator. There can be no failure this time. Do you understand? Luke nodded his head and responded, Yes, my master. Vader deactivated the communication link as Luke's shuttle headed for the surface of Endor. Back aboard the Home One, General Nadine met with the Strike Force to inform them of their mission. In order to get you on the surface, we will need to break the blockade established by a pair of Star Destroyers that should be stationed to the far side of the Death Star. The Y-Wing bombers will disable the destroyers, giving you all a window to move in quickly. You will take a U-Wing dropship and a small squadron of fighters to the surface. Once there, you will enter the shield generator and set these charges on the inside. Once that is complete, you will have to fend off any Imperial forces that remain until Calrissian and his forces are able to destroy the station. We will then send for you to be extracted from the planet. Chewbacca let out a roar as Leia smiled with great excitement, but hid within her much anxiety. As the Rebels continued final preparations for the impending attack, the Empire prepared to witness the greatest day of its 20 plus year reign. The numerous soldiers, engineers, technicians and officers stationed aboard the station gathered as the shuttle landed in one of its hangars. Waiting at the front of the line created by the Imperial personnel was Governor Tarkin. The shuttle door lowered to the ground and out stepped Darth Vader. Governor Tarkin. It seems as though this idea of creating a technological terror is finally seeing its true objective completed. Tarkin looked a bit offended by Vader's statement, but shook it off as he informed Vader of what his spies reported. The rebellion should arrive with what's left of their miserable effort sometime after the arrival of our Emperor. Vader walked along with Tarkin slightly behind. Very good. Now we can finally put it into this pathetic rebellion once and for all. This is part 9 of the What If Luke Joined the Imperial Academy series, I'm glad that those who have watched it have enjoyed it thus far. If you haven't seen the previous additions to this series, they will be linked in the description below, and be sure to leave a like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Also, stay tuned because part 10 for this series will be uploaded soon. Until the next time. 
may the force of others be with you.